Good afternoon. The Miss 411 here once again bringing you some more updates involving uh excuse me, I have to fix my oh dear. But anyways, I'm bringing you updates on some sporting news events. Today, big news in football after Ed Reed was let go from the Houston Texans, he got picked up by the New York Jets. So now Ed Reed is going to play football again in the NFL still for the New York Jets. See, to me, I think it was unfair that the Houston Texans let go of Ed Reed. He hasn't done much, and he signed a three-year deal with them. And all of a sudden, they let him go just like that. That's just unfair. That's just not cool. I don't care if it's a business. It's still unfair. But good for Mr. Ed Reed playing football with the New York Jets. Good luck to him and whatnot. Last night was big for Minnesota. If you're a Minnesota sports fan, the Minnesota Timberwolves beat the Cleveland Cavaliers 124. I think it was to 92. I don't remember. But we won by 29 points last night in basketball. That was awesome. And for hockey, Minnesota Wild fans, including myself and a Timberwolves fan, of course. But back to hockey, Minnesota Wild fans, our Minnesota Wild team beat the Toronto Maple Leafs last night. It was a struggling, tough game, but we managed to finish off with a shootout win. And one of the Maple Leafs players is probably going to get, you know, a big suspension or whatever because he accidentally ran into um, Nicholas Basham. And then he slam-headed uh, Miguel Grunlin, I think his name. The Maple Leafs player hit, him, hit his head right hard in the window. You can't pretty much do that. He was defenseless, so he's probably going to get a penalty for that. Or fine, at least I don't know. But uh, it was nice to see the Minnesota Wild beat the Maple Leafs by a shootout win. It was a struggling, but we managed to leave strong with a win for hockey. So that's pretty much awesome. So again, once again to Mr. Ed Reed, congratulations on being with the New York Jets. Don't know how long you signed to deal with them, but we'll just see what happens. This is the Minnesota 411, bringing you some more sporting updates. So uh, you stay beautiful, Minnesota.